These are all of my single eyeshadows and my eyeshadow palettes. So I pretty much already declutter all of my eyeshadow palettes. I wish I would have shown you guys, but I didn't. I wasn't like recording my decluttering series, I guess you would say, back then. So I just went ahead and declutter a bunch of eyeshadow palettes but i do want to show you the ones that i did keep so i'm going to show you guys my smaller palettes so this is the kkw and mario palette so this is what it, you guys can see me so this is what that palette looks like i also have two colourpop palettes which i love this one this is the qaf colorful colourpop palette i love this palette so much it's like one of my faves I also have this ColourPop Double Entendre palette. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I love this. Especially if you're a beginner, I definitely recommend this palette. This palette is awesome for beginner makeup. I have this Sonia Kashuk palette, which is super old. I probably should throw this away because honestly, I don't even reach for this. This was one of the first palettes I ever got. I don't know if you guys can read that, but this palette literally says 2014. We're about to be in 2019, so I definitely need to get rid of this. So this is just going to be thrown away. I also have this Makeup Geek palette. This is the collab that they did with Manny. And I really like this palette a lot. So keeping that. I have this IBY Beauty Desert Vibes palette, which I love. Love, love the shades in here. Another really old palette that I have is this Ambry Z an Anastasia palette. This was like also one of the first palettes I ever got when I was getting into makeup. These are the old, old Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I've been a fan of Anastasia and Embrizi for years. So if you're OG and you have this palette, let me know down in the comments below because this was one of the first palettes I ever purchased and I still love this palette. So even though it's super old, I just can't get rid of this. I don't know. I just, I just can't. I just have to keep this. And then I also have this Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette. This is has some blushes in here. And then I just have some bigger palettes in here as well. So I have this uh, Carly Bible palette. This is the deluxe edition that she came up with. So I also had another one, but I actually gave that one away because I got the bigger one. And then I just have a couple of Morphe palettes. So the Morphe 35 Oh, the Morphe 35 B palette, which I love. I also have this ColourPop palette. It just has some peachy shades in here. And this Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani palette. I just had to get this because I love Gwen Stefani. And I just really like all these shades in here. It's basically just like a highlighter and blush palette. This is also like super old, but I just, I can't get rid of this. And then I also have this one, which I did a video on. This is the Candy Peaches palette by Jacob and Eli, which I honestly, I really like this palette. If you're on a budget, I definitely recommend this palette. And if you really like shades like this, this is a pretty good palette to have. It's like $10, I believe, on Amazon. But this is the old Urban Decay and Naked palette. This was the first palette I ever got, and this is what got me into makeup. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people on here have this palette or had this palette i just i can't i can't let this go this is like my baby this is the one that i first started doing like my makeup with like other than like drugstore makeup which i used to use a lot this was like the first high-end palette that i got so it's just like i can't get rid of this because i just every time i look at this i'm always like oh my god this is like the first palette that i got when i was getting into makeup like i just I can't let this go. So this is definitely staying here. Here are all of my single eyeshadows. So let me go ahead and take this out so I can show you guys. I'm just going to go through it because honestly, I don't ever reach for a lot of the stuff that's in here. I just don't ever reach for it. I don't use it. I normally like using eyeshadows that are in palettes. I also have this Stillette liquid eyeshadows that I'm definitely keeping because I love these. These are so good. I have these by LA Colors. And 
honestly i've had these for probably a year and i've never reached for these so i'm definitely gonna go ahead and get rid of these this is honestly not my favorite product i didn't really like it when i used it i did like a video on it and not my favorite i have a ton of ColourPop eyeshadows which i never reach for so i also have these little ulta single eyeshadows which i've had for years like for a really 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 long time i never reach for these so i'm gonna go ahead and just declutter these i also have this essence single eyeshadow which i like but again i already have shades like this and i just never reach for this i'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this i really like this mally eyeshadow it's like an army green base i'm gonna keep this what else i have this little revlon eyeshadow that i purchased forever ago and i just never reach for this so i'm just gonna declutter that Another LA Colors eyeshadow. I actually used this for a Dollar Tree makeup challenge and they were actually not bad. But again, I'm not going to reach for this ever. So I'm just going to go ahead and declare that. This Maybelline eyeshadow which is so pretty. So I'm going to keep this because I really like this eyeshadow. I have this two NYX eyeshadows that are super intense. So I'm going to keep these. I have three of these L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows which i really like here are some milani eyeshadows i'm gonna go ahead and declutter these went ahead and laid out all of my color pop eyeshadows and i'm just gonna go ahead and see which ones i like i'm gonna go ahead and swatch them on the back of my hand and then just pick like that because i've had these for a long time and i don't even know if they're still good like consistency wise like how they feel because i don't reach for these very often so here are all the shimmers. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch these on the back of my hand. So I'm going to keep the first one, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. I'm not going to keep the last one and the second one. The second one just didn't really apply on that creamy and smooth. I'm going to keep a maze. Nellionaire. Blaze and get lucky i just went ahead and decided to go ahead and get rid of all these matte shades they're just not pigmented they're not they're just all dried out i mean i've had these for such a long time and i have shades like this in other palettes so i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these okay guys so i just wanted to show you really quickly this is everything that i'm keeping i have still a couple color pops the l'oreal infallible have this Stella Kitten Karma eyeshadow, a couple of pigments, and then some liquid cream like eyeshadows. This is everything that I'm gonna get rid of, which is a lot. And I'm really proud of myself. I didn't think I was gonna get rid of that much, but I actually end up getting rid of a ton of single eyeshadows, which I'm so happy for. These are all just gonna go ahead and get thrown out. I've had these for years, so I'm not gonna give it to anyone. I don't like giving away used makeup. I just don't think it's sanitary. And also, I don't like these shades. These shades are dried out, so I would never give someone anything like this. These are my eyeshadow palettes and single eyeshadow drawers. I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. And the next video that I'm going to do is decluttering my liquid lipsticks and lipsticks that I have. I have a ton. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching this little decluttering and organizing video. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to keep seeing any of these decluttering and organizing vlog style videos. I'm going to show you a sneak peek of what my lipstick drawer looks like because it's crazy but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye